Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you concept of retrofit uh, to retrieve and upload the JSON via REST based web services. Let's start developing Android Studio project. First of all, you can click on start new Android Studio project. Then you can choose the empty activity. Then you can give, give the name of your application. Uh, I'm giving the name of my application that is retrofit API demo. Then you can click on finish. Let me specify what retrofit is. Retrofit is a REST client for the Android. It makes easy to retrieve and upload the JSON via REST based web services. Uh, in Retrofit, we, we need to configure one converter class that is used for the data serialization. I will use here that is a JSON converter for the data serialization. So whenever you want to use the API of Retrofit, you need to first move to your Gradle file that is build.gradle module app and here you need to mention the implementation so i am just adding here one implementation and that is uh, for the uh, retrofit so i am just writing here com dot square up dot retrofit door to this is the package right so and you can mention the retrofit colon 2.3.0 that is the version once you add this we need a one more that is related to our converter json for the data serialization so i am just writing here converter json right and the same uh, version then you can click on the sync once you click on sync if uh, it is fine then it will be configured the successfully uh, before configure successful you just need to ensure that your computer is must be connected to internet once it is done now it's a time to uh, make sure that we what we want to do and what uh, we want to test so uh, first of all i'm going going to my browser and i'm typing here that is json place holder dot type p code dot com it is the fake online rest api for the testing and prototyping so i will uh, choose here uh, how to retrieve the json and how to post the json right so here this is the API. Uh, the, this is the uh, web URL address that is jason plus elder dot type code dot com. If you pass here slash post, it will give you the all the posts. See here, uh, there are four uh, arguments are there in addition. Uh, there are four attributes. One is user ID, ID, title, and body. And same way, there are so many records are available in the JSON format. I want to retrieve all this. Uh, in my list view in my android application this is my web uh, url and uh, using web service uh, retrofit i want to retrieve all this into my android emulator now what happens whenever you are retrieving all this you need to make sure that this all four are uh, created in your separate class right so i will create one class and uh, in which i will define all this four variable one more thing that required is what whenever you are accessing it online one permission is required and that is manifest permission for internet so first of all i will move to my uh, manifest file android manifest dot xml and then you can add the permission over here i will add the permission that is users permission and that is internet now i did the two tasks one is in build gradle i add the implementation the second one i did the getting i'm getting the internet permission once it is done now it's a time to move to your activity main.xml here i will add one list view over here why because we want to retrieve all this json data into our list view so i will just click on show layout decoration and here you can select your list view now here in this list view i want to list display all this data so i'm just taking the list view over here you can click on the info constraint and here necessary thing is what you need to define the id so i'm just giving the id that is list view once it is done once it is done your third task is over now uh, as you seen or uh, you have already seen over here there are four uh, attributes are there user id id title and body so i will create one class over here in kotlin class and here in this kotlin class i will 
define all this four variable so let me right click over here on my package name and new and then you can click on the kotlin file here you can give the name of your kotlin file i am giving the name of my file that is post model this is my uh, class in which i will definitely uh, define the variables so i am just defining the variable user id is equal to zero for example let me define the variable another one that is id is equal to zero i am defining the title that is a string right and uh, you can define the question mark why because of for the null safety by default null you cannot allow to uh, you cannot set to the string uh, then variable body that is again a string question mark is equal to null you can just verify user id id title and body these are the four attributes that i want right so these are the third, four attributes that i declared in my class that is post model class once this task is over i did the four tasks the first one is i did the implementation file second i uh, add the permission that is manifest permission third i uh, define the list view fourth now i define the post model class now fifth task you need to define the rest retrofit based api interface so just right click on your package new and you can choose the kotlin file but select here interface and here you can give the name of your interface i am giving the my name of my interface is retrofit interface you can give any name over here i am just giving the name of my interface is retrofit interface here you can define from where you want to get all this data so you can just define your variables i am de defining my variable that is constant value base url is equal to and here now you need to define the url right so i'm just defining the base url is equal to now you need to define this uh, url over here so url is definitely this url will be there and that is json placeholder typeicode.com you don't need a post over here right so just pass this json slash json placeholder dot type code dot com but this is my object right so i will define this in a companion object so i will take i am taking here companion object and you can define it in a companion object so you can directly access this variable in java uh, you can directly access the static variable right so you can directly write the retrofit interface dot base url the same way in kotlin you can define it in a companion object and you can retrieve that retrofit interface dot base url now the task is not over yet here you need to define a variable related to post so i am just defining the variable for example well post uh, colon uh, you need to define the type right so i am just defining the type that is call and here you can define that call list of post model post model is the class that we declared uh, just now question mark question mark and then you need to define that uh, uh, call a list of a post, uh, post model then again question mark and then again you can put the question mark this is the variable i declared variable post right once your post variable is declared now you can uh, get your uh, api so you can just write at the rate g and the get will be available over here you can just get and you can just pass the get and here you can define the argument that you want to extract from uh, json placeholder so i want to retrieve the json data right so i'm just writing the post over here this is post is the uh, <coughs> url in which i will just get the data from post right and this is the U, uh, base url and this is the post that is sub url using that we will get the data once it is a done now it's a time to write the code in a main activity file so here in main activity you can define the different variable i'm just defining the variable that is rf uh, is equal to you can just call retrofit dot builder here in retrofit dot builder you can call the function that is for the base url and that is for the converter factory that you want to define right so i'm just calling the function that is base url now from where you will get the base url so you can just write 
here retrofit interface dot base url this base url is what here in interface i define the base url and the base url is the url from where i want to extract the data so here you can just define the base url once you define the base url now it's a time to add the converter factory so you can call the add converter factory function and then you can pass the gcn converter factory over here so you, here you can just call gcn converter factory dot now here in gcn converter factory you need to call the create function and then you can call the dot build once your build function is called now your retrofit variable in is initialized here you mentioned what you you mentioned that i want to use the data serialization method for the json co converter factory and i want the base url that is json typo.com right now it's a time to define your api so i'm just uh, defining my variable api is equal to retrofit dot create is the function in which you can pass your retrofit interface so i'm just passing the retrofit interface class dot java once you pass this retrofit class dot java your variable api is initialized now you need to define the variable your call so i'm just calling call is equal to api dot post now what i will see this my retrofit interface having the variable post which returns what that is call list post model and it will be assigned to which variable that is in main activity call is assigned with this api dot post once it is done now it's a time to enqueue your function so you can call the on response function and on failure function so what i am writing here see here using this call you can just call the function that is enqueue here in NQ, we need a callback of a post model, right? So you can just call callback of post model. You can just uh, write here object colon. Now you need to define the callback. So I'm just calling the callback. Here in callback, we need to provide the list. Why? Because we want to bind the data with the list view. Here you can uh, list is available with the post model. So you can just pass here your post model. Uh, post model is our class that I created earlier then you can uh, for the null safety checking you can just say that it is question mark and here you can mention the question mark and once it is done now you need to implement the method of this callback the, there are two methods available over here one is on failure what you want to do and another is on response what you want to do uh, we need to implement this two methods see on failure and on response uh, I don't want to write anything inside the on failure, but if I got the online response, then definitely I want to write the code. So if I get the response, it means the JSON API is uh, giving me the data. Then what do you want to do? Definitely I want to bind the data into my list view. So very simple here. You can uh, declare your variable for the post list. So I'm just declaring my variable that is post list colon list of post model and then post model is the class that i declared earlier and then you can just define the equal to now you can call the function that is response dot body what the user has uh, retrieve using the json api so uh, response dot body and you can just cast with as list post model right uh, you can just mention here list post model once you cast this your variable post list is initialized with your list uh, and that is post model post model is our class that we defined earlier right so now once your post list is retrieved now it's a time to define the post uh, in which you want uh, to retrieve one by one every post right so i'm just uh, declaring one variable that is post is equal to now i need to define that of uh, this post variable with the how many array size so you can define the array of null with the size now we need to define that array of null of which type so i'm just binding here that is of string now the question is what uh, for how much how many records you want to define this right so you just need to write here post list uh, then you can uh, use the size uh, attribute and it will be initialized up to the post list size suppose this post having the 100 records then this post variable created with the 100 records now my post is created with the 100 records but there is no record available in this post so i need to retrieve it one by one right so i'm just calling one for loop over here 
you can call for i in your post list variable dot you can call the function that is indices uh, it will be called up to every index until it is available right so for i in post list dot indices uh, up to uh, whatever the index is then you can iterate over here so i am just calling what post of i is equal to you can just write here post list uh, of i dot uh, now what you want to display into your uh, list view uh, do you want to display title body id user id which variable if you want to uh, display all this variable into your list view then your list view should be attached with the card view why because we uh, in list view by default maximum uh, if you are using the android layout then you cannot bind more than two so for that you need to define your own layout right but right now i am taking only one that is title now once your for loop is retrieving all this post now it's a time to bind the this post data with the my list view right so very simple you can just create one variable that is variable adapter is equal to and we need a array adapter over here in array adapter three uh, parameter is there one is the context second one is the layout suppose if you want to bind all this data then you need to create your own layout I am using the inbuilt layout that is android.r.layout.simple drop down item one line right now what you want to bind I want to bind my post so your post is assigned with the adapter now very simple you just need to call your list view list view dot adapter is equal to adapter now you can check see what I did let me compile uh, let me run my, my this application once it run you can see that what happens over here what i did i just initialize my retrofit variable then i initialize my uh, api variable then i call what i want uh, from api and in my response function whatever the uh, response body has yeah, that i am retrieving in my uh, with initializing with the size with the post and then i am retrieving it is one by one in my for loop and i am binding it to the list view here you can see that see all the all the <coughs> title is available over here you can just check that title the first title is sunt or pairs uh, that this is the text and that uh, if you want to verify over here then you can just check that the same title is available over here right it means what you can retrieve the data right suppose if you think that uh, i don't want to retrieve the title i want to retrieve the body so you can just mention here instead of title you can just get the body then it will give you a body right if you execute this now uh, this emulator will have the data of body from this url you can see that the quita suspect right so same thing is available over here it means what we are retrieving now body instead of title suppose if you think that i want to retrieve all this four and i want to bind it over here in list view then if you want to bind more than one item into list view then you need to create your own layout so what we can do over here we can create our own layout that is card layout in card layout we can bind all these four things and then we can add this card view card view to the this list view this is the way you can retrieve your data right uh, suppose if you want to uh, define another data then you can do this right what is this uh, excellent thing about this once you define this uh, perfectly then suppose if you want to use the data from another api then you just need to change over here that is your class you just need to define the variables you just need to define the url rest will be same you just need to define the which variable you want right this is the thing uh, that you need to just change rest will be uh, fine so this is the way you can implement your rest api into retrofit api into your application this is uh, the way you can implement right uh, let me specify what retrofit is again now retrofit is a rest client for android it makes easy to retrieve and upload the json via rest based web services 
in retrofit we can configure the so many converter class but uh, right now i am using the json converter class for the data serialization this is the way you can implement your retrofit api in your uh, android system and your android projects uh, uh, that's it from my side if you like this video then please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you